everyone, assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my channel. It's been such a while since I've been able to sit down and film and today, as you can tell by the title, it is my 2019 absolute beauty, well, makeup favourites and this was a really hard one to do because um, I don't know if you remember, but two years ago, I did one for high end, one for low end. This time, I just wanted to be really strict to myself and just think, right, what are the one key product within each category that you kept on using over and over again? And also this year, more than ever, I've really made a conscious effort to use up my things and buy a little bit less, buy a bit more responsibly and use up the things that I have. So... I hope that this video can sum up everything that I've really been enjoying and loving. Unfortunately, a lot of it is high end. There are definitely some drugstore gems in here though, so don't worry, I've not just completely gone high end. What I thought I would do as well is um, put a blog post up probably in about a week from now with my close seconds, so like my runner up products. And again, those will be a mix of high-end and drugstore, only because I've not written on my blog for over a year. I really miss the whole process. I miss the photography element of it, and I also just miss writing. So I thought I would come back with an end of 2019 runner-up post. So definitely, definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, let's get straight into this. So for this video, I am gonna be talking you through the products, and then there'll be clips of me um, doing this makeup look that you can see right now. The first thing that unfortunately I can't even speak about is a corrector. I have not found a single corrector in 2019 that I absolutely love that has not been discontinued. The one that I'm using at the start of this video is discontinued and I'm so frustrated. I picked up like four of them, so I am gonna be using them up because obviously I love it and it's a drugstore one, which is even more annoying, but I'm not gonna be sharing it because there's no point, it's not fair. You can't get your hands on it. Um, and then the next thing um, that I'm pretty sure I did, let me think about the steps of my makeup now, is my foundation. <laughs> In previous years, I've always, always, always loved the Nasha Glow. I still really love that base. It's still a base that can't go wrong for me. But in the last couple of weeks, I have discovered the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. And I do have a whole review and 12 hour wear test. That's gonna be linked down below and in the cards somewhere over here so definitely check that out because that's going to go into a lot more depth but yeah i got this in the shade 310c which is a little bit too warm for me so i've been mixing it with the elf um, adjuster in white and it makes a pretty good match for me as you can tell i could probably made it even a little bit lighter actually yeah these two together are a dream this is luminous but it's long lasting it's a little bit more on the matte side actually a little bit more than um Nasha glow and especially if you don't sort of finish it off a setting spray or a finishing spray it can look a bit matte i've been wearing this exclusively for the last three weeks only and um, the coverage is definitely a medium to full coverage it looks really nice on the skin it doesn't cake up it doesn't look it does look like your own makeup because it is definitely not a light coverage foundation but if i could choose one base to carry with me into 2020 it would be this one because i feel like you can adjust it you can make it lighter coverage you can build it up as well and also on that note, the e.l.f. adjusters are incredible. I had this one and the yellow one, Safia Tasneem got us all hooked on them. They are brilliant. They are such a good investment. They're like five pounds and you need a very small amount every time. And it just means you don't have to keep buying different foundations. And you know, and that can get really expensive. So definitely look into those if you've not already. I just remembered the first thing actually that I did before I put my foundation on. <laughs> was I put this stuff on. This is a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, a product which I wouldn't say is entirely essential. You can definitely do your makeup very nicely without it, but I do like the step that it adds. I do feel like it does slightly enhance the longevity of my makeup, and I do love the way it makes my skin look really luminous. I own the Wonder Glow, and I do really like that. I think it's nice, but I think this is a better version, and I believe this is a cheaper version as well between this and Wonder Glow. It's a lovely product. It's in the shade four. I definitely think that it does make a difference whether you're wearing it alone or just under a base i do like using that obviously there's cheaper versions you can get but i do love it <laughs> onto concealer this is going to come as no surprise to any of you guys who have watched the video before but of course i had to give the crown to the kevin aquan central skin enhancer and in particular the shade 07 this is actually one that i'm probably going to be hitting pan on 
pretty soon which is a shock because I've had these things for a long long time again a very thorough review has been done on my channel of the three shades I own it's going to be linked somewhere here and down below this stuff does take a while to get used to and I will say that in the recent weeks this under in particular has been creasing like crazy so I need to find something that makes these, this and my under eye merge well together. Maybe a, a pore filling primer or something. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know down below. But I do still love this. It's amazing coverage. A little bit goes a very long way. It's very creamy and luxurious of a touch. And like I said, value for money, you cannot beat this. Yes, it's an expensive investment. Get it on the Boxing Day sales, definitely. But it's worth every penny. And if you are someone of a very deep skin tone, they're currently doing the darkest shades of these in TK Maxx, which is making me a little bit anxious because I would really, really, really hope that um, they're not going to be discontinuing this because I love these. And I would probably buy like five pots, honestly, if they were. But yeah, this is fantastic. And then I know I said I was going to choose one thing from each category, but I had to mention this. This is the e.l.f. concealer, the 16 hour camo concealer. It's been compared to the Tarte Shade Tape, which I've not tried. And to be honest, I don't really have an intention of trying it because it's too expensive, in my opinion, for me to buy and try and use for a tube concealer this is five pounds i got this in the shade light beige and i've used this today to just clean up my eyebrows which is something i've started doing recently like literally in the last month and it has made the biggest difference like i was always so lazy i was like i can't be bothered with doing that it's too much effort but as you can tell which you'll see in the next couple of clips when i'm doing my eyebrows they look crazy and just a little bit of concealer and a little bit of strategic application can not only cover up stray hairs but it can really really make a huge difference to your whole makeup because if your eyebrows are done properly then your whole makeup looks better if your eyebrows are looking a little bit wild the rest of the makeup kind of follows suit so definitely 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 pick this up if you've not tried it already the only irk i have with this is that it is not in enough shades i don't have a shade that i can use like just in one go for my under eyes because there's no shade between this one and the next one that I use. I won't go too much into detail on the e.l.f. concealers here. I will do a whole video dedicated to them because I love my concealers. Just keep your eyes peeled for that. But yeah, definitely a winner of 2019 for me. Right, moving on to the brows. I have been loving the drugstore products for the brows. I have tried high-end products and personally, I am not about spending lots of money on my eyebrows. Again, maybe it's because for the longest time I couldn't really be bothered, but I do think that the drugstore have really high quality products. My favorite brow pencil is the Revolution Pro Microblading Effect Pencil, and this is four or five pounds. And I've already said this before, but the only thing I hate about it is that the name is never on the packaging. It, it, that's annoying. So the one that I've actually used today is a little bit too warm, and you can see that as I'm applying it, it it's not looking the best. But as you can see, it, it has kind of worked out. The reason why I love these pencils is because they are super super quick and easy to use. I use the shade dark brown, that's the shade I should have picked up and um, especially when I was working full time I would literally spend 30 seconds on my eyebrows to quickly fill them in, quickly sweep the spoolie through them and that's it, I'm done. There's no you know fussing with uh, other products and as much as I enjoy pomades and now because I have more free time on my hands I am using pomades, this is still the winner of 2019 for me. It's just still the product that I use the most and repurchase the most and then something that is never spoken about enough in my opinion but seriously deserves love is the Essence Make Me Brow Eye Brow Mascara. This is essentially a dupe for Benefit Skimmy Brow. It's got a really small little wand. It's got tiny tiny little fibers and you can get them this in I think at least three different shades and basically just brushes through your eyebrows, makes the hairs look more real and sets them in place. So never do I find my eyebrows melting when I've used this and it's like two or three pounds. So it's fantastic and everybody should own this. Okay, moving on to powders of 2019. 
My favourite under eye setting powder has definitely been a very expensive one. This is a Rodeal Insta Glam Compact Deluxe Banana Powder in the shade 05 and it says it's a yellow tone highlighting powder and you can see I've loved it a lot because I have hit some serious pan. This was really kindly given to me by Saf, she's such a sweetheart and it's just a really beautiful finely milled yellow powder as you can see. There are definitely drugstore alternatives so check out my blog post, I will link it down below when it's live if you would not want to spend this much money it's around 50 pounds on a powder but you want something that will do the job there is alternatives available but that stuff is just beautiful it brightens it up just enough where you feel like you look lifted and you look more awake but you don't look sometimes yellow powders converge on orange and like looking cakey that definitely never gives me that look and then with loose powders it's interesting because i tried so many this year i've tried the cat one d one i've tried the hourglass one i've tried the cover fx one and i've tried the elf one and the nars one there's a lot that i've tried i think i'm, I'm going to be doing a blog post covering them all with pictures or flash photography just so you can see and i can see which ones look the best but the one that i have probably reached for the most is definitely the cat one d translucent setting powder i'm nearly out of this stuff there's literally only a very small amount left i don't love how bulky the packaging is but i do like how this typically does not leave me with a white cast when i I use it some white powders and loose powders definitely do I'm not going to be repurchasing it in 2020 though because I do have finally now in my collection the Laura Mercier loose setting powder I picked up in Black Friday sales I was very disciplined I did not go over to the top for once I just picked up that powder and just a few skin habits that I needed and yeah I've not opened it yet because I want to get through some of these powders first because you know less waste less clutter this is new me now <laughs> but you will be hearing about Laura Mercier in the near future and um, I'll be telling you what I think about it anyway moving on to the eyes I thought I would talk to you guys about some of my favourite single shadows because I talk a lot about palettes on my channel and on my socials but I, I, you guys probably know I have a huge single shadow collection. This has been like my go-to palette for most of this year because it's just a bunch of shadows from companies that I've created and made for myself and I'm Although I'm, I love this, I am getting a bit bored of this colour combo, so I probably will be swapping some of them out. But the ones that um, I am showing you right now are, first of all, from Makeup Geek. And it's so annoying because Makeup Geek used to be very easily accessible on Beauty Bay, and for some reason their relationship ended and they stopped stocking them which is frustrating because when I'm sharing it with you guys you know I, I know I do have some US watches but I know the majority of you are from the UK but I just wanted to be open and frank about which shadows I'm really loving and a lot of them are Makeup Geek. Now the first one that I always use and it's uh, I have a backup of it thank goodness in my brow bone especially is the shade Mirage. It's just a really, really beautiful satin shade. It's not too much. It's quite subtle, but that's what you want for every day. You don't want a really strong brow bone colour because it just looks too much. Um, this is a sort of shade which literally, like I said, you can wear every day. Um, or you can wear it sort of, maybe not, I wouldn't wear it to work, but I'd wear it like if I was going shopping if that makes sense and it just lifts the area like concealer and then a little bit of the right shade under the brow really does make a huge difference especially if you've got semi-hooded lids like I do you need to be trying to find a shade like that which will just lift your eyes and it works pretty well as an everyday inner corner highlight today I've obviously used an actual highlighter because I do like a very bright inner corner if I'm doing my makeup like full blown like this I like that because again it makes my eyes look more bright and awake but yeah, love Mirage, have a backup, it's amazing. And then the second shade is Peach Smoothie. It's just the perfect transition shade. You must have heard a lot of huge beauty gurus, like especially back in the day, speak about this shade. Um, and I thought it wouldn't work for me because they are Caucasian and I am South a Southeast Asian. So I didn't think it'd work for me. But once you put your concealer on and you've set yourself in place, it just is a very nice subtle shade, which makes a big difference. One of the biggest things I've been doing, especially this year, is using transition shades and making time to really work the shades in before I add the pops of colour, before I add the deep darker shades. 
if your transition and your crease area is looking good then the rest of your makeup will follow suit the next shade i showed you was like this really gorgeous like brown color which i use a lot and it's by abh it's in the shade brick it's such a stunning brown shade it's matte it's so creamy it's so easy to blend you can see i'm just blending it in right now and it is just looking beautiful and because it's like a mid-tone warm brown i feel like it complements my eyes so much it usually complements what i'm wearing i mean it's very similar to the color of my jumper today and i find that i use this a lot and then this is a shade i really have been enjoying too again it's by abh and it's in the shade comfort it's a really gorgeous satin brown shade it's really nice for sort of deepening up a look but deepening up in a way where it's not a black i am not brave enough to be using black shades yet black shadows i very very rarely use a black shadow but i do love a bit of depth as you can see today i've got that going on in my crease and i really really enjoy it and then the final eyeshadow shade uh, that i use have been using a lot is colourpop actually yeah so colourpop i have quite a few very single shadows um i don't think if i was to rank it i would say abh and makeup geek art like very similar abh just takes the the cake a little bit and then Colourpop is just underneath so they're all very similar but obviously Colourpop and Makeup Geek are more affordable but they're less accessible if you're in the UK which is so frustrating. ABH is definitely more expensive but you can find like your ways to to get good deals, wait for Black Friday sales, wait for Boxing Day sales. Anyway this is a shade Beach Blanket by Colourpop. It's um, a smidge darker and warmer than peach smoothie because i'm of asian skin tone this is just really really nice in the crease again um for this eyeshadow look i use this after i use the main lid thing which i will show you in a second and i just use it to add a bit more depth without it looking too much so yeah it's all about the neutrals for me and the browns and the blending brushes the color i use in the main part of my lid as you can see is a very new discovery i literally discovered this two weeks ago but i had to share it with you guys it is the primark liquid glitter eyeshadow these are three pound fifty and obviously they are a dupe of the steeler ones which are around 20 pounds for the full size i know you can get smaller kits of them for less money especially around the holiday time so that's when Stila is worth picking up in my opinion but I'm so happy that Primark have come out with their own version they're pretty much very very spot on dupe they have got sparkles of glitter in them let me just show you guys so that is just a swatch of it by itself and then as you can see in the application I layered it up so I put a bit on use my finger to pat it out and then I put more on depending on the intensity for three pound fifty you really can't go wrong I'm um, I think these are just fantastic especially like for special occasions but even if you just want a bit of sparkle on you know if you've got a bit more time to do your makeup you want a bit more sparkle I think these are gorgeous so definitely pick these up they'll last you a very long time <laughs> my liquid liner and my mascara so just quickly because i've spoken about this so many times this is a revolution makeup revolution renaissance liner i have probably brought about five of these this year and i've got two in backup love 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 it is matte it is super black super pigmented and i've got used to using the nib which is a pen style like this i just think with liners um i used to have a phase of just wanting to buy lows and try lows and i did try lows in my blog once and you can find that in a very old post if you want to but now i just want convenience i want something i'm used to i want something i know will work this does not have the longest longevity especially if you've got oily lids but for me it always lasts the majority of the time and it never Never, never hurts when I take it off you know it doesn't I don't have to scrub up my eyes so huge thumbs up for this we'll continue repurchasing it and then mascara this is the Primark false lash queen dramatic volume fullness and length mascara again I have like this is my fourth tube absolutely love this um, a lot of mascaras don't do much for me I don't have the thickest lashes or the longest lashes but this is amazing it just coats my lashes so well it lengthens them it thickens them and it makes a huge difference and it's hard to tell because i'm wearing eyeliner but usually when i don't have time i'll just do two coats of this and i'm good to go and it makes a humongous difference so moving on to the lips now in 
this clip I showed you my favourite lip liner of the year and unfortunately I don't think you can get it in the UK anymore very easily. Again, it's another brand that was on Beauty Bay and now isn't, but it's the Jordana Tawny Lips lip liner. This is such a lovely liner. I don't know why I don't get on with a lot of with lip liners. I do like the Rimmel ones, but this is definitely one that stands out for me. This one and then just the Rimmel lip liners. So if you're looking for a really good lip liner and you're in the UK, I say go for Rimmel ones. Um, very rarely do I think that a high-end lip liner is worth the money. I love the Makeup Forever Aqua Lips, but I think they've discontinued them for some bizarre reason. So yeah, I'm not going to recommend any high-end ones because I don't personally use them. And then the lip color of choice is this this is the color pop calypso satin lip this is like my go-to everyday lip color it's not too dark it's not too light it's not too bright it's the perfect color for me i love my um brownie nudes that's definitely me a lot of you guys are asking me to do like separate videos just focus on lip products i will do those definitely i really really want 2020 to have more makeup content so one of the videos coming up will be my most used lip products one of them will be like my favorite colourpop lip products um because if you are making an order there are some amazing shades and formulas on there and i although yes you do have to pay tax it's still so worth it honestly like this to me is like the quality of like a 25 pound equivalent high-end thing and it costs six dollars <laughs> Okay, moving on to the face. So although I do like switching up my bronzers and things, one of the bronzers that's from the drugstore is always out of stock on their website. So I thought I wouldn't talk about it because I don't know if you can definitely get it. So it might come as no surprise to you that I've been loving this Hourglass palette. I picked this up last year just before I got married and it's been so convenient for traveling. More than the highlighting shade, surprisingly, and more, more than the face shades i've been loving the bronzer and the blushes but especially the bronzer that's definitely the most well used shade in this whole palette and i'm just trying to see if i can find the name for this bronzer the filtered bronze light bronzer i used it today it just adds a really really gorgeous warmth to the skin you can use it as a contour and a bronzer which is why i love it and it is very hard to overdo because of the formula it's like a very beautiful baked luminous formula I know hourglass is expensive, I know it's definitely a treat but it's definitely definitely worth investing in if you can find a palette that you love. I don't know if I love this year's holiday collection one so in the future I would just pick up the bronzer by itself and I think that is about £45 but it will last you like I've been using this palette I think this was in my March favourites or April favourites this year and I've been using it pretty much consistently since then and I'm nowhere near hitting pan and then my blusher of choice my favourite blusher again this is really hard because I love blusher and I love different brands but if I had to pick one You'll be surprised it's not NARS, it's actually Hourglass again. And this is in the shade Mood Exposure. This is one of their mini sizes, but as you can see, it's gonna last me such a long time. And I just think that for me personally, considering the number of blushes that I have, it was not worth the money to buy a full size. It made more financial sense to pick up a little one um, because I can actually use it and not feel like I'm wasting product, you know? Um, but yeah, this is a really, really beautiful shade. It looks like kind of like nothing in the pan. And I thought that this would be better for sort of, again, the more Caucasian type of skin color, but it looks really nice on me, I feel like. And again, I don't know if the camera's picking, yeah, the camera is picking up. It's just a nice, subtle, cooler tone pink, which I don't normally go for, but I feel like it makes a change from my typical peaches and pinks that I've been loving. I still love them, but I've really been enjoying the way this looks. Almost done now, so highlighter. Again, surprisingly, this time it's not a gold tone highlighter, usually it always is, but I have been really, really enjoying the Jouer Rose Gold Highlighter. This is a mini that I got in the Cult Beauty goodie bag. It's so beautiful, it's so unique, and I feel like um, because I was so used to my golds and again I still love my golds because I was so used to them I kind of forgot that there's other shades available and sometimes those other shades can really uplift you and make you look fresher so definitely been loving the rose gold and the last thing in my 2019 beauty makeup favorites is Fenty Gloss Bomb and this is in the shade Fenty Glow. I put off buying this for the longest time even though it was so hyped up last year especially but I got my hands on it this year 
and I love it. I really, really love it because I use it pretty much almost any time I do my makeup. Um, again, I've been loving the glossy lips. They're so comfortable that this is not sticky. This is fine. This is really nice on my lips. And yep, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. But I hope this has been um, insightful, helpful. If you've got any of the same favorites, let me know. And if you don't have any of the same favorites, if you have different ones, again, let me know. I love having conversations with you guys on my Instagram or in the comments down below. And stay tuned for my blog post, which is coming up soon. I hope you guys have a fantastic end of 2019. I know here in the UK, we've had a bit of a disappointing election result. And I know that's going to be a bit of a downer on things for us, but inshallah, we just have to make the while that everything's going to be okay. And um, yeah, that's what we can do really. So anyway don't want to end it on a downer i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day rest of your week and thank you so much for your support this year i finally hit 6k on instagram which was a little milestone of mine and there will be a giveaway coming up so if you're not following me on there definitely go follow me right now and that's it i will see you in the next video take care guys bye